So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello or welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose because I'm the flower that blooms at night. <sighs> and as you can read from the title of today's video, it might get a little bit emotional because we're going to be discussing one of my major insecurities, my weight. So let's get into it, shall we? So I never really thought this would be a video that I would be making or things that I would have to address, but I keep getting comments about my weight, like constantly, and I've blocked the word like fat and bulky and overweight, obese and stuff from Instagram and YouTube. And I never really thought I would have to, but I know a lot of people struggle with like gender dysmorphia, body dysmorphia, eating disorders, and trust me, I have a full on history and ongoing battle with them, which I will share in the future at a later date when I feel comfortable sharing like that side of my story. But um, yeah, it just, it keeps happening where people keep mentioning my weight and it's not something that I don't notice about myself. I have gained so much weight since my birthday and when I was back like in Cambridge and filming and that kind of thing, I know like my body does not look like how it did back in April and it's become a major insecurity of me to um, show my body. Like even now with my arms out and everything, I feel uncomfortable, but I'm forcing myself to try and like break it and just be like, well, this is my body. This is the state it's currently in. But um, let's do a quick recap, shall we? So in January of 2021, people kept mentioning about my weight and how I looked like I've gained weight and it made me feel super insecure. Like I have a history of bulimia, anorexia, and just like general depression, anxiety, and hating myself. So when people mention something that's already an insecurity, it like triggers that thing in your head of, you don't deserve to eat. You, what have you done to serve? You need to be working out. You need to be losing weight. You look disgusting. You cannot fit in that dress you used to wear. That kind of thing all seems to like trigger. So back in January of 2021, I weighed 11 stone eight. And you know, that's a good healthy weight for my size and everything like that is, a perfectly healthy weight. That was honestly my goal to now get back to. But um, I was a perfectly normal, healthy weight then. But I listened to everyone. I got really in my head and I really started going to the gym like constantly. I was barely eating. And by April, April 23rd, my actual birthday when I weighed myself, I was 11 stone, which, you know, is a lower end weight for someone that's five foot nine, nearly like six foot. It's not particularly the best weight, but honestly, I was quite happy with my body at that point. Like, not gonna lie, girl, wish I could be there again. But um, I was 11 stone in April, and then the shitstorm of my depression fucked me over up until this point, which, you know, is a great scenario. But pretty much, I seemed to get back up on my feet, and I knew I wasn't in my best state physically. Like, you know, mentally, I was fucked. I didn't leave my bed for like weeks. Literally on end, I was that fucked up. And um, it was a complete struggle. And all I did was um, not move and then eat since I felt so shit. So when I finally like kind of picked myself back up and started filming again, literally in my first video back, which had nothing to do with showing my body, not showcase, you couldn't even see my body. I deleted no joke, 15 comments calling me fat, obese, disgusting, look what you, like you've let yourself go, look what you've done to yourself, look how fat you are. And I knew I was heavier, but I didn't weigh myself because I knew it would trigger like my brain to be in that like state I was back in January. But I weighed myself back, you know, bef like after the I posted that video and I'm still the same weight now, which is fucking annoying. But I currently weigh 13 stone. So between April till like when I came back with that video in like September, I'd gained two stone, which is a lot of weight to gain. And honestly, I am struggling to lose it. Since I'm now back home, I'm walking my dog like once or twice a day for like at least an hour. And I'm literally only eating fruit. I'm drinking loads of water. I am working out, trying to be sensible with my food and still have a decent amount of calories and not overdo it or go bulimic or anything. But um, I still weigh 13 stone. I know I'm a much bigger size than what I was. I have so many outfits that I purchased that do not fit, which is kind of why my Halloween series went to shit since when you try on like a second backup costume that you bought for a look 
and you still can't do the zipper up at all, or you rip a costume because it no longer fits you, it, it becomes a lot. And honestly, it's been affecting me a lot. And now this is like my career and my focus. I have time to, um, you know, channel it into having a healthy schedule with sleep, with working out, with eating. But I never thought I'd have to block comments to do with weight or calling me names like that. I just, I don't understand how or why people keep doing it. But I know a lot of people struggle with it and people have asked me to talk about it. And like, I asked like a Q&A thing on Instagram and a lot of people saying like, do you feel secure in your body? Like, are you okay in your body? And I'm like, no girl. And so I figured I would make this video today to um tell you about a major insecurity of mine and it is my body. But um, I am working on it. I know it's gonna be a, like a process. It's not just gonna fix itself overnight and I am, I'm getting there, you know, I've not actually dropped any weight, but um, I'm getting there mentally, which will then help me physically. But um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to have, I don't know, an open discussion and kind of let you guys in a little bit more with something to do with me personally. And yeah, it's just kind of been tough since I've been back to know, I don't want to say I'm not as good as what I was before since I, it's weight, you know, girl, you can lose it, your body changes. But, um, I don't know, I've just been so insecure when it comes to body shots and photography and, like, my proportions and the works of it all. And, I don't know, I just kind of want to open a discussion and let you guys in a little bit if anyone's got any good, like, workout routines or stuff they recommend. I am trying to go potentially, like, vegetarian and then into veganism, but, um... You know, I, I'm trying my best. I am a one woman show trying to do it all. And honestly, it's been, it's been rough. It's been tough. And I'm trying to keep out of my head to do with it. But um, yeah, that's today's video. I am a wreck with my body and <laughs> people keep pointing it out. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or at least learned us something about me a little bit more. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've got any like good workout routines on YouTube or like things you would recommend. Obviously, I know diet and exercise is a process, it's a journey, it's something that will occur over time. It's not just gonna happen and there's no like quick fix to like losing weight healthily and safely. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to The Girl Next Door with something more. I am planning to upload plenty of other like content and stuff. This was just a bonus video where it was just something like lingering on my mind and I knew if I didn't talk about it and I knew if I didn't make it into a video, it would continually persist and I might encourage more people to mention it now, but um, you know, I just need to get it off my chest, get it out of my head and girl, I'm working on it. If you call me fat, what? there's not much that's gonna be instantly fixed, you know, but um, yeah. I've, I've definitely, um, fucked myself over with my mental health physically, so, um, we're working on both of them together, girl, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys, I don't know, at least found something new about me, and, um, I will see you in, um, tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ooh, it actually came out as a good tongue pop, though, you fat bitch. <laughs>